What's up? It's Apple Critics, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you a hands-on of the HomePod's new features. Now, the new features uh, include multi-user detection, ambient sound, and much, much more. Uh, so without further ado, let's get straight on into this video. Uh, so Apple in late October released a new 13.2 software update for the HomePod with a bunch of new features. But it turned out the update was actually breaking some of the HomePods. So Apple had to address the bug that was in 13.2 and updated it and released it in 13.2.1 a couple days later, making the new functionalities and new features available without the risk of ruining a HomePod. Now the first new feature is the multi-user support and voice detection. Uh, so with the new update, HomePod can distinguish between uh, different users in a household, introducing multi-user support for the first time. Uh, so Siri can tell who is speaking, allowing each person in the home to access their own selection of music, playlists, radio stations, and preferences. So this is a really good feature. Uh, so if you are uh, a male in the household, it'll recognize your uh, music taste and the type of music you listen to. And if you're a female in the household, uh, talking to the HomePod, it'll recognize your voice and then play your music. So you just have to link your account and recognize your voice. Uh, and it's just very simple in that way. So that feature is much needed and actually one of the features that the HomePod was definitely missing when it was first released. Now, in order to actually set up the multi-user support, it requires a device running iOS 13.2 or later, and then you need to invite your family members to be a member in the home app. And then from there, you just open up the home app and then you go to the home settings and then you just choose the recognize my voice option. So you just hit the home button right here, uh, be recognized. And, and then you just hit the invite button, then you can have the multi-user support uh, so people can play their music based on their voice. Now the next feature is actually the coolest feature of this update in my opinion, and then that would have to be the handoff support. Uh, so if you're listening to a song on your iPhone and you want to transfer it over to your HomePod without touching any buttons, you can do so with the iOS 13.2.1's new HomePod handoff feature. Uh, so to use the handoff, all you have to do is go into uh, your phone and just choose the song that you want to hand off. Uh, so let's say for example, I pull up a song and I want to play so let's say, for example, I want to play this song on my HomePod. All I have to do is just start playing it. And now if I just hold my iPhone right over the HomePod, then it will automatically transfer the song so you can hear it. So you could hear it was super easy to transfer a song. Now this actually works with phone calls, uh, podcasts, and other music and much more. So it's just very simple. Say you walk in a room and you're playing a song on your iPhone, you just simply swipe it over your HomePod and then the song will start playing. So it's really easy in that way. Now we can try it on a podcast as well. You do just hit play and then hold it over and then you'll feel a haptic more. feedback. And then you're going to hear that it'll start playing. Now, a new feature is that you can add music to HomeKit scene. So you just hit that plus button right here, then you just hit add scene. And now what you can do is actually add uh, songs from your Apple Music library to your HomeKit scene. So let's say, for example, you want to create a good morning or a relax scene that does things like change the lighting and start a song playing on the HomePod. You can now do that with your Apple Music library song. So that's much needed. Now, another new feature that's specific to the HomePod is that there is ambient sounds. So the 13.2.1 update also introduces a new feature called ambient sounds, which is designed to let you ask Siri to play relaxing sound like rain, white noise, and more. Now there's seven different options that you can choose from that include rain, stream, white noise, fireplace, forest, night, and ocean. Uh, so to use the ambient sounds, all you have to do is uh, say this command. Hey Siri, play Fireplace. And now you can hear the fireplace. So it's just that simple. So once again, there is the uh, seven different options that include the rain, stream, white noise, fireplace, forest, night, and ocean. And these uh, ambient noises help you uh, sleep better or just set the mood. Now there also is the sleep timer additions. So the ambient sounds can be set up with the sleep timer so that the noise uh, automatically turns off after a set period of time. So when an ambient sound is playing, ask Siri to set up a sleep timer for a set amount of time. So all you have to do is say Siri set up a timer for 45 minutes. And then for example, uh, 
play the ambient noises for 45 minutes before the HomePod turns off. Then if you don't want to listen to the ambient sounds, this will also work with any music that happens to be playing. So you can just set a timer for music for 45 minutes and it will work. Uh now in order to update the HomePod, just simply go into the Home app, tap on the Home uh, button in the top left corner, and then scroll down until it says Software Update. You're simply gonna tap on it, and then you're gonna make sure Install Updates automatically is checked. And then it'll say iOS 13.2.1 uh, and your HomePod software is up to date. So that's all you need to do. Uh, so now the latest features of the HomePod will start working. Uh, so it's just that simple. So thanks for watching this video on the latest updates for the HomePod. Please be sure to subscribe to this video. Please smash the like button down below so you watched. Also be sure to check out all the other videos on my channel. Be sure to check out applecritics.com for these Apple news views and more. Like my Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash applecritics. And follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash applecritics. And thanks for watching.